Arkansas lawmakers review a rule with the insurance department today that regulates pharmacy benefit managers. Pharmacists across the state blame these PBMs for drastic cuts to their reimbursement rates. Because Health Matters Caregiver for just you know, tells us how we got to the point where we're at today. This Little Rock pharmacist and we do number 90. works fast to fill his patient's nice. prescriptions every day. Oh, 150 or so, something like that. We're not a large pharmacy. Frederica Pharmacy has served families since 1912. So we're 106 years old. Owner Lynn Frouche says it's had its challenges over the years, but before its 107th birthday, the most recent one takes the cake. We have every day that a significant number of our prescriptions are reimbursed at less than what I pay for them to my wholesaler. Frouche blames pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs, the middleman between pharmacists and health insurers. The issue culminated January 1st when Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield began contracting with CVS Caremark as its PBM. It's just gotten to the point of being unbearable. Frouche has had to cut hours. Other pharmacies have had to close their doors. You're trying to do as much as you can possibly do just to survive. The Arkansas legislature passed a new law during a special session in March. To regulate pretty much all aspects of PBM activities. The proposed rule would require PBMs to pay a $1,000 licensing fee and a million dollar cash surety bond. The state's insurance commissioner would review the PBM's reimbursement program to make sure the rates for pharmacists are fair. PBMs and insurers would also track data for potential violations. I've well, we already got many comments about this rule. Lawmakers reviewed the rule with the insurance department Tuesday, clearing the way for a public comment hearing on it Wednesday. The rule takes effect one year after the problem surfaced, January 1st. I anticipate we'll start seeing change immediately with the implementation of the law. Jesse Tenor reporting the state's insurance department modeled much of the new rule after Kentucky's regulations. Kentucky's insurance department just fined CVS Caremark $1.5 million and put its PBM license on probation for a year.